Welcome to Computational Science YouTube channel. In the previous class, we have seen about combination or reaction. So, in combination or reaction, we have two. In the combination or reaction, we have two reactants and only one product. Today, we are going to see decomposition or reaction. So, in combination or reaction, we have two reactants and one product. In decomposition reaction, we have one reactant and two products. Two products. So in this, in this video, we are going to decompose copper sulfate pentahydrate. So when we, when we decompose copper sulfate pentahydrate, it decomposes into copper sulfate and water molecule. Water molecule. So in decomposition reaction, we have one reactant which is AB, then this AB when it is heated upon heating it converts into A and B. A and B. So the reverse is true for combination reaction. So in this video we are going to decompose copper sulfate pentahydrate. When we heat copper sulfate pentahydrate upon heating, copper sulfate pentahydrate converts into copper sulfate plus five molecule of water, five molecule of water. So the copper sulfate pentahydrate takes a form of blue color, takes a form of blue color. This is a copper sulfate pentahydrate, which is a blue color. So upon heating, it is a blue color crystal. Upon heating, it loses it is water of, it is water of crystallization and decomposes into a white powder which is anhydrous copper sulfate anhydrous copper sulfate means copper sulfate with no water the, since the water vapors from it from it upon heating so it loses two molecule of water upon heating at about 63 degrees celsius and followed by two more losing of water at 190 109 degrees celsius and the final water molecule removes from copper sulfate pentahydrate copper sulfate pentahydrate at 200 degree celsius 200 degrees celsius and when it loses it is water it turns to white powder white powder from from what from a blue uh, a blue color so after it loses it is water when we add a drop wise of water it turns into a blue color which is copper sulfate pentahydrate copper sulfate pentahydrate now let us heat this copper sulfate pentahydrate to get copper sulfate to get copper sulfate so upon heating the copper sulfate pentahydrate converted into converted into copper sulfate which is a white powder a white powder so in your observation part you can write that when copper sulfate pentahydrate was heated it converts from blue crystal to a white crystal or from blue color to a white color so the blue color is what copper sulfate pentahydrate and the white powder is what the only copper sulfate why upon heating the water uh, removes from the copper sulfate now it is converting into it is changing into what a white powder a white powder that means upon heating the water is removing from it now removing from it now changing as temperature increases the, the, the rate of removal of water also increases from the copper sulfate pentahydrate now now it is losing it is water After the 
five all five molecule of water removes from the copper sulfate pentahydrate but it completely turns into white powder which is only copper sulfate copper sulfate now the five molecule of water uh, removed from copper sulfate pentahydrate so now what's left in the crucible is only copper sulfate now it loses it is water this is a decomposition reaction copper sulfate pentahydrate is a blue color blue color crystal now the new product formed is copper sulfate which is a white powder a white powder so the water removed from the copper sulfate pentahydrate as a form of vapor or as a form of gas so now we get our new product which is white powder so since this is a reversible reaction a reversible reaction which means when you heat copper sulfate copper sulfate pentahydrate the copper sulfate pentahydrate upon heating it converts into copper sulfate this is a white powder a white powder this is a blue color so upon heating copper sulfate pentahydrate turns into white powder which is copper sulfate plus water as a form of vapor then if you add some amount of water on this on this white powder on this copper sulfate it turns into copper sulfate pentahydrate so this is a reversible reaction a reversible reaction if you add some drop wise of water into copper sulfate we get copper sulfate pentahydrate again the blue one so let us check whether this decomposition reaction of copper sulfate pentahydrate is a reversible reaction or a reversible reaction so let us add some drop wise of water into this white powder to get the first blue crystal which is copper sulfate pentahydrate so we get copper sulfate a white powder from what from copper sulfate pentahydrate if you add some drops of water it converts into a blue color which is copper sulfate pentahydrate copper sulfate pentahydrate now this indicates that the reaction the decomposition reaction of copper sulfate pentahydrate is completely a reversible reaction it was blue and it returns back to blue color so we hit you can write your chemical equation as follows you can write your chemical equation as follows copper sulfate penta hydrate that means it have five molecule of water penta so when you heat it upon heating it converts it into what copper sulfate plus copper sulfate as a solid plus water as a gaseous form so when you add some drops of water upon addition of water molecule it turns back into copper sulfate pentahydrate which is blue and this is a white so this is completely a reverse this is completely a reversible chemical reaction so you can conclude that in your conclusion part you can say that the chemical reaction of copper sulfate pentahydrate the decomposition reaction of copper sulfate pentahydrate is a reversible reaction a reversible reaction so this is all about decomposition reaction in the next class we will see about single replacement reaction so if you are a new member to our channel don't forget to subscribe like share our channels thank you very much